Hey child, welcome back to my channel. I've not done my hair in a while. It is time to get that on together. And today I'm using some products that are new to me, probably new to you. They went a little viral, viral. We're gonna see if that's worth it. And it is the Coco Black Naturals Curling Custard. Y'all, I tried to order these products paying with my own money, right? And my bank was like, no ma'am, because the products are from Ghana. And I was like, it's really me though. And my bank was still like, no ma'am. And so the company was so kind as to send me a PR package. They sent me their lanolin oil, their nappy curl definer. <laughs> the name is a little tester, uh huh. Yes, and then the curling custard. I am really just interested in the curling custard for today. Thank you for the curl definer, but I'm gonna use this now. I did go on their Instagram page to see best practices for this particular gel. What they recommend is you spritz your hair with water, put the oil on put their leave-in on, and then go in with this gel. I don't have their leave-in, so I use my own. Basically, they do the LOC method. I am an LCOer, so I already have my leave-in on. I'm gonna put this oil on, and then we're gonna get into this good old curling custom. Now, let me go ahead and separate my hair. I start looking like a little fragile rock or whatever, and I'll be right with you. Hold, please. All right, honey, let's get this show started. All right, so I clarified with Mono's Hair Clarifier. I washed my hair with the Happy Shampoo from Sienna Naturals. I did a rinse out conditioner, which was functional beauty conditioner. I did a deep treatment, which was purple rice water from Shea Moisture. And now I have the Trey Lux leave-in on my hair. And I know it sound like a lot, but listen, I'm coming out of a heat style. Mother got to make sure this hair is healthy so them curls can pop back. Well, since the leave-in is applied, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this lanolin oil as they said to do. Ooh, this is thick. Whoosh. Like look how, ooh, this is kind of like molasses, castor oil type of consistency. Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting it. I've never used lanolin oil before, so I ain't, I ain't know what to expect. That thing is thick. Come on. You see how slow it's taking to get out of there? It's thick, thick. So I'm gonna put this over this whole section, yes. It feels really good on top of the leave-in. Like, no lie, the oil feel good. Now let's see if this custard feel good. This is the infamous Coco Black Honey. The Cocoa Black Curling Custard. Now I will say, if you have blonde hair, gray hair, any colored hair, this will probably stain, so you wanna, you know, definitely be careful with it. As far as the consistency, it's really kinda gelatin, like. It smell like gel, kinda got like a jam type scent to it. Like, it ain't stinky by far, I just, you know, mm, wow, it smell like gel. I don't want my nails to get stained, though. Oh, okay, it's wiping right off, okay, so. I am, listen, I'm excited, wait a minute. Okay, I'm excited, I don't wanna use too much cause I don't wanna cause no flaking. So let's start with, let's start with about this much. So I'm gonna section this off so I can really get it defined. And I found some new type of detangling comb from the beauty spot. Child, why am I talking to you like you crazy? You just wanna see if it works. All right, hold on. It, it's, it's gummy, the consistency is gummy. This is not like a regular gel. This is very gummy. All right, let's put this on the hair. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna rub that all over this section, and then I'm gonna go into a smaller section to define. And in raking it through, it feels very slippery. The slip on top of this oil is something crazy. And as far as the way it feels on my hair, feels really nicely. Huh. I got frizz though. Let me add some more. See, yeah, let's let's add some more before I tell you what I'm thinking. Right now I got some thoughts on it, but let me add some more. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna rub that on together and apply it to this. Make sure I get these roots so they don't puff up on me. Uh huh. Rub that through, and I'm gonna rake this through in five, four, three, two. What are we looking at? Yeah, okay, let's try another section. So, I'm going to add a little more because I see I kind of need to apply it a little heavily. So I'm gonna take this much, right? Rub it together, put it on the roots to flatten them. Then I'm gonna rub it through the hair. And I like to do the raking method. This, this is what we're looking at so far. Um, very, very springy, very, very springy, very springy. Um, I'm concerned though. Number one, is this going to flake? Number two, is it going to leave a tint on my hair? 
Right now, I am loving the way my curls are looking. And it's just looking good, honey. Let's try some more, uh-huh. So I'm gonna take about a finger full, smooth it down the hair, and then I rake it through. Okay. Okay, so I'm loving the slip on this product. Absolutely amazing. It feels very good on my hair. It actually feels moisturizing. As far as the ingredients, first thing is water. Second thing is glycerin. Next thing is flaxseed and aloe vera gel. And then it has shea butter, coconut oil, argan oil, xanthan gum, caramel color, and fragrance. I do have some concerns though because sometimes I do get flaking from flaxseed as well as xanthan gum. And so for them both to be in here, I'm wondering is this gonna flake in my hair? But overall, it feels very moisturizing. My hair feels great. I will say though, with me putting this on top of the oil, I can definitely feel that the product is kind of slipping around on there. But at the same time, I'm definitely going to follow the instructions of making sure I use the oil before I apply this because I saw Jess's video, her hair got very, very crunchy. And so I'm trying to follow the instructions of the company and go ahead and use this oil before I apply this. But right now, my hair feels amazing. I actually am impressed. So let me go through and apply the rest. Hold please. is my hair feels exceptionally hydrated. To say my hair feels good is an understatement. The con is this consistency is very, very weird. It feels kind of gummy as well. So I didn't like the, like the texture of it. Once it's on my hair, it feels good, but the application is a little bit strange. So with that being said, honestly, so far I like it. I just wanna see, number one, is my hair gonna be super crunchy? And number two, is it gonna flake? I did not use an entire, you know, like two, well, I did kinda use a, a healthy portion, but overall, I really can't complain, other than the fact that I didn't necessarily love the texture. And then even in just looking at this on my hand, there's like something right here. And even on the other sides of my hands, I'm wondering is that gonna be flaking in my hair? So I'm really concerned about flaking overall. So what I'm gonna do is let it sit for about a good 20 minutes. And then I'm gonna get under my bonnet dryer, let it dry all the way. And I'm gonna come back and show you the final results. So far, I like it. I'm just really concerned about flaking. Like I have a huge concern about flaking just in seeing how it is performing on my hands. Child, let me go get this black stuff off of me. I'll be back. Bye, honey. And here are my final results. Now let me give you my extremely honest review. The moisture on these products are amazing. The slip, incredible. 
the hold. Let me tell you something. Anytime you put an oil or something super moisturizing underneath a gel, it keeps the gel from really gripping onto your hair as strongly as it normally would. And it softens the effect of the product, right? The fact that I put on an oil as thick as that lanolin oil and my hair still had hold and crunch lets me know if I did not put that oil underneath it, my hair would have been an ungodly level of crunchy. Now, be clear. For my hair type, I don't mind crunchy gels because that means I'll get more days out of the style. But if you don't like crunchy hair, you wanna be very careful with how you layer these products as you may get a result you don't like. Again, I don't mind super crunchy because that just means I ain't gotta touch up my hair throughout the week. Okay, now, for me, my hair turned out fluffy after I broke the gel cast, which it was able to break very easily because again, I placed the heavy oil underneath it. But after I did all the stretching and fluffing, I love the way my hair looks. The only reason I cannot give these products an A plus score, because I want to, but I can't, is because of the flaking. Now, when I looked at the ingredient list, I saw flaxseed and I also saw xanthan gum, which I told you when I read it, those are known to flake. Not just in my hair, but they are something that can flake easily. And so when I was breaking the gel cast, I got flakes everywhere. Now there are little gray flakes on my shirt, on my keyboard um, for my laptop. The flakes were, I can't even lie to you, it's, it's flaky. Um, so that's something I just definitely want to be honest with you all about. If I were to zoom in, which I'm going to try to do, you can actually see the flakes on my hair. Hold on. If you look, you can see little gray specks all throughout my hair. That's the flakes that I got from the product. So my final review of the Coco Naturals Curling Custard is the hold on it is second to none. The definition, it's really good at defining. It's really good at styling your hair without drying it out. It is actually a very moisturizing line. But the reality is the recipe of the custard can lead to flaking. I'm gonna turn around and let you see the back. Mm, look at it, look at it, look at it. Look back at it, look back at it. Hey. So yeah, that's my final thoughts. I really did actually like the products, but I just, I can't do the flaking. Like it, it I don't like flakes and that's just me being honest. So if you have any questions, leave them down below. Me love you long time, my cute guy die. And I'll see you back here tomorrow for another day of 12 days of Christmas with your girl. Bye honey, or should I say, see you later.